Now, every day, doctors go into surgeries armed with all types of instruments to help repair your body. Now, locally, one of those tools just might be a robot. Ortho neurosurgeon Dr. Mark Gittens joining me now with a look at how this advanced technology is helping those getting knee replacements. So good to have you here. Thank you for having me. All right, so let's talk about the, the robotic knee surgery, right? So what exactly does that mean for somebody who, who has an injured knee? So the, the field of robotics has really expanded in orthopedics, and it, it's really given us a, a, a new entrance into looking at how we diagnose the knees and then how we treat them. And so we're able to now three-dimensionally put a knee up on a screen and look at it and then diagnose it and, and treat it with this three-dimensional view. Historically, we've just had two two views uh, uh, on an x-ray, and now we actually have the whole knee up on a model. And so the, the robots, I mean, we hear about the kind of, you know, things have gotten laparoscopic and yeah. things are constantly advancing. So, I mean, this is the way of the future, right? I mean, this is... We oh. really uh, we really do think it is, is the way of the future and is going to expand and, yeah. and into other joints, into the other surgeries as the technology uh, grows. and. It gets more and more refined, it gets more robust, uh, there's more and more engineers working on it, so it's, it's really quite exciting. Okay, so what kind of issues do people need knee replacements for? I mean, is this arthritis, is this a further injury? So, the most common use for the robot at this point as we speak is really the arthritic knee, but that could have started when you are in high school and had that high school knee injury or cheerleading knee injury, and then as we go through the years, arthritis tends to creep up uh, on us, and so those patients are now um, able to have this new, new type of technology to help them um, live that active life, even though their knee may feel older, they're still quite young and, and full of vigor. We want them to do that. All right, let's watch an animation. This kind of shows how it's done, and I want you to explain, you know, is the robot doing the entire surgery? You know, how does it play a part in the process? Right, so the, the robot and the surgeon work together. Um, it's, it's, it's a coupled uh, technology that we're able to look at the, uh, the knee again in a three-dimensional way. The robot is then told basically a number uh, that each knee has, so it really customizes the surgery for each patient. And then we're able, if we have a specific number, then we're able to either subtract or add to that number to, to basically rebuild that knee so that it gets as close as we can but even before the injury uh, as far as uh, to the ligaments and the muscles so they're able to move more naturally. And would that then, uh, I guess, what is the biggest benefit to that, that customization? So I think the, the benefits really are the customization. So each person is going to be treated uniquely to their own anatomy. We're all different. Um, and then it's very reproducible for the surgeon. So he's able, he or she's able to get the same result each time because they're able to apply this technology uh, there. And so then we think we have better results, um, uh, easier on the patient, easier rehab, able to, to facilitate that uh, activity level that they want quicker. All right, what about uh, recovery? Is that, does it make it any longer, any different? So it's interesting that the, the, the robot has really helped us uh, uh, kind of bolt on, may, may you say, uh, to this whole rapid recovery. So these are all, almost all outpatient surgery. So a lot of these wow. people are able to have their knees done, um, have their knees replaced and actually be home the same day to their own home environment and recover there. So quite, quite exciting to see that. And some people just out there, they, they wonder, is, is this for everyone? Does everybody qualify for this if they have an issue? So most people qualify. There are a few outliers uh, there, uh, depending on your own specific medical conditions. But the, okay. the, the great majority of people do qualify uh, for this. But that's why you have to see your surgeon and consult exactly. with, your, with your doctor and find out. But it's exciting how many people do qualify. Yeah, it is an option. So if you've been living with the knee pain, obviously it does start with an exam, a consultation, all that good stuff. So all the information for ortho neuro up on screen for you, Dr. Gittens. Thank you. Thank you.